and, and Joe. Uh, I don't think Joe's going to have any trouble at all uh, carrying on the tradition of Red Ridge Baseball. Uh, I have a lot of people to thank. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to forget half of them, but uh, I, I, I certainly don't mean to, and, and I hope you all realize that. Uh, first of all, I want to thank my family for allowing me to spend the time that I've spent uh, away from them, and, and I hope. Uh, I hope we can make that up in, 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 in my retirement, but uh, I'm not so sure that's going to happen. Uh, what are you laughing for? Uh, if I can find enough games to go to, I'll, uh, I'll end up uh, having a great retirement. Uh, obviously, as I said, I, I want to thank my family first. Uh, I want to thank all the coaches that have been with me, because uh, they've done a, an outstanding job. There's no way that one person can coach a baseball team. Uh, you need quite a few, and, and I've been very lucky to have a staff that is, is really interested in, in getting better and, and working hard, and volunteer coaches who've been here every single day without being paid. That, uh, that doesn't happen in a lot of places. So we had a great uh, a great staff. I still have a great, or I had a great staff with Joey and Timmy and, and, and Casey uh, and Glenn, of course. Glenn's been here for 27 years. I don't know how we made it, but uh, uh, this is, you're looking at probably the best hitter in the history of Rutgers University. Uh, he, he, uh, he was a great player, a great player, and, and he's a great coach. Uh, the secretarial help we had, the trainers we had, the equipment people we had, all were first class, all, and are first class. Uh, our, our weight room coach, Mike, Mike Johansson, has, has done a great job with our kids, and, and I, hope, uh, I hope that will continue. Uh, Mark Peterson, our academic advisor, has, has a very tough job with these guys. <laughs> Some of them don't quite understand what he's talking about. But, uh, he'll, he'll get through to them. He'll, he'll get through to them before it's all over, and we'll, we'll have them all back next year. Uh, wow. Uh, I don't know if I've forgotten anybody. Oh, the equipment staff, uh, John Reardon and, and uh, Gene Wells and uh, Ronnie. What's her name? Celia. Celia Hill. Uh, <laughs> they, they've all done a, a, an extremely good job for us. Um, it's not easy to, to outfit and to handle 35 players uh, on a daily basis, and all, all 35 want something different, so they really have their hands full. Uh, probably the the, the two best moments <clears throat> in my coaching career uh, have been coaching my son at Montclair State. And when my son was hired here as a basketball coach, uh, we were the <clears throat> excuse me, we were the only father-son team in Division One level uh, coaching. There was no other father-son team co coaching a varsity sport. Uh, and I'm, I'm extremely proud of both of those guys. Uh, and I'm, I, I better say this, or I'm going to get bombed. Uh, uh, I, I see, I see three of the four. No, I see the fourth. Uh, looking over here, saying, you, "You better say something about us." Uh, well, uh, I, I couldn't have four better daughters and, and better fans. Uh, I don't know how many games they've seen, but, but they've seen quite a few. I think my, my wife has seen, uh, between being a football coach at Montclair State and a baseball coach, uh, going to the girls cheerleading and playing softball, uh, coming down here to, to watch the games here. Uh, she's got to rank number one on the list for seeing uh, contests. Uh, I, I don't think there's anyone even close. Uh, I'd like to say that the rock uh, was right, but I'm going to take 
take credit for that. <laughs> I'm, not, uh, I'm not so sure I bought it every time she gave me two, two, two laps. Uh, I kind of I kind of backed off a little bit and I, I hid in the dugout so I, I wouldn't hear all that stuff. Uh, I don't know what else. I wish Joe the, the best of luck. They got one yesterday. I hope we can get one today. Sorry guys. <laughs> uh, but I hope we can get one today and, and I, I'm sure uh, the, the program is, is in the best possible hands it could be in. So, there's no doubt in my mind that, that he will continue to, to this success that we've had. And, and I wish him and Glenn and Timmy and Casey the, the best of luck. Uh, thank you for all you ex-players. Thank, thank you for all your ex-players coming out. It means that. Uh, it means a great deal to me to uh, see, see many of you. Uh, and I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, I'm done. <laughs>